Hello friends, it's Marie here again with Marie Nicole Designs. I'm coming at you with another video um, featuring some Nouveau products. Today I am showing you the Mica Mist, which I'm holding on the left, and the Sparkle Spray, which is in my right hand. Now the Sparkle Spray is a newer spray from Nouveau. It comes in six colors. The Mica Mist has more colors. I have nine independent colors. I removed one there because I have a duplicate of the red. Um, but I think there are a few more than nine colors. I am not sure, but I have them all linked down below in case you want to check them out. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a side-by-side -side look at these sprays, um, what they are, what they do, how they differ. Um, they're both fun and fabulous. And they can create fun backgrounds for your cards or your scrapbooking or paper crafts or whatever. Or you can use them to color die cuts, letters, whatever you want. Now I know the sparkle spray can adhere to other surfaces such as wood and metal. Um, I haven't tried them on all of those surfaces. I have tried them on wood um, letter pieces for Christmas ornaments this past year and they were amazing and sparkly and I loved them. Um, the Mica Mist, I'm not sure. I haven't used it on anything other than paper. So that might be something you want to experiment with if you're interested in. So I've gone ahead and I've sprayed, I believe this is Nebula Blue, on some white cardstock. It is still wet and I'm going to dry it. Um, when I'm working with these sprays, on my glass mat, I like to wipe up the extra with a baby wipe before I take my heat tool to it so I don't dry it onto my mat. It'll still come off if you do, um, it's just easier to wipe it up first. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Um, typically though, when I'm using my sprays, I use a box, like an Amazon box or a shipping box. Um, just open it up, put your cardstock in there and spray away. And then you can even dry it in that box and then when you remove it, you don't have a mess to clean up. Um, it was a little bit hard to get the box into my video screen with good lighting so I didn't use it in the video. But you can see that you can use it on your craft table or in a box if you prefer any way you want. Mists will get a little bit more messy. If you like that, great. If you don't like me, <laughs> I don't like, typically like a lot of mess. So I like to use the box. It's just a cleaner um, cleanup. So I've got the sparkle spray here on the bottom right corner and the mica mist on the top. You can see that there is a difference. The sparkle, sp the sparkle spray is more intense. It's got a rich color. It gives you more coverage and it's got that really shiny silvery shine to it. The mica mist is a little bit more translucent, not quite as intense, and the sparkle in the mica mist is more like a shimmer, a soft sheen. So they both have a different look. Um, you can use them basically the same way. They're both sprays, but they give you a different finish. Now I'm going to go ahead with another color. I'm going to use the green mica mist and the green sparkle spray. What I like about both of these sprays is they don't react with water so you can spray them on top of each other once they're dry and they're not going to muddy or run together so you can get a multicolor look by drying in between each spray and adding more colors on. I think this would be really fun to make a galaxy background with and you can also spray these on dark cardstock too. I didn't show that in this video but they do really um, pop against a black cardstock. So you can see the mica mist is a little bit more of a lighter, softer color. The sparkle spray is a lot more intense. It has more intensity and it's got more of that silvery shine to it, more of that sparkle. So they are both gorgeous. They both have great uses in your crafting. Um, use them both the same way, a little bit different of a finish. So here are those colors side by side, sparkle sprays on the bottom, mica mist on the top. They're both fabulous. Now, sprays are really fun to use over stencils, so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that today. I just have my stencil laid down over a piece of cardstock. If you wanna make sure that it is all stuck down to your paper, it's not going to bleed or leak underneath, use some kind of a pixie spray or a temporary tacky adhesive. Now, I'll spray through the stencil, and instead of washing off all of that spray that's sitting on top, you can recycle that by pushing another piece of cardstock onto it and pulling up that print. So then you'll end up with the negative and positive print from your stencil and you have two backgrounds with one 
technique. <laughs> one squirt of your bottle. Um, so here's the sparkle spray. I used mica mist previously. This is sparkle spray over a stencil. Again, you can see how much more intense the sparkle spray is. Again, I'm going to pull up that sparkle spray that's sitting on top of the stencil and get two backgrounds out of this one spray. So I love this technique where you can pull up the negative and positive background. Um, when I pull up the stencil, you'll see that a little bit of that spray leaked a bit. I don't have quite of a crisp image. Um, so that's where that pixie spray would come in. If you spray that on the back of your stencils, it'll be get your stencil tacky. It'll adhere down to your background and um, won't allow any of that liquid to seep through the stencil. So here's my four backgrounds that I did. Um, really quickly. I do like to take my stencils to my sink and wash them off. You can also wipe them up with a baby wipe, but I feel like I get them cleaner when I take them to the sink and do soap and water with them. So here's the sparkle spray. The blue ones is the mica mist. Both gorgeous. Both work the same ways. Um, sparkle spray is sparkle spray, excuse me, is a little bit more intense and sparkly. So really fun. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys can take these ideas and run with them and make gorgeous cards. I want to show you another little tip here that I think is important. So I have two pieces of cardstock here and I've ink blended over both of them. On the left I've used hybrid ink um, and on the right is distress ink. Now the main difference between the two is that distress ink will react with liquid or water. Hybrid inks will not once they are dry. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this antique gold over both of these cardstocks and you're going to see a difference already. I'm seeing a difference. So on the left, that um, hybrid ink, it is not mixing. It is not moving. You get that bold, um, bold shine and bold color from the mica mist um, just shining through. And the one on the right is distressed ink. So once you put medium with it, it's going to start to run and mix with your medium. Now, both of them are still gorgeous. You get a different look. So with the hybrid inks, your sprays, if you spray on top of them, your sprays will turn out a lot more intense. You'll be able to see them better. If you spray your spray over a distressed ink or a water reactive strip, ink, it's going to be a little bit more subtle. You're not going to get as much color on top of those inks. So it's kind of the same um, idea as we had with spray and sparkle spray or mica mist over each other. Um, once they're dry, they're going to stay in place, not mix. You're going to get your color shining through um, with distress ink or ink that is water reactive. It's going to be a little bit more subtle. Now I've shot, I've sprayed some of the sparkle spray on top of both of them. The difference isn't quite as obvious with the sparkle spray. I feel like the sparkle spray still pretty much held um, its color and held its shine over the Distress ink. Um, so you might just want to um, go ahead and play with these different techniques. But in what I'm saying is that hybrid inks will stay put once they are dry. So here's a card I've finished. I've ink blended a purple background and did a little bit of a blue spritz on the bottom. You get kind of a color shift kind of thing where it's ombre from blue to purple with some shine. This card I've done some rainbow ink blending in the background and spritzed some of that gold over the whole background. And this one I stamped and embossed a background and then I painted on the mica mist. So you can also use a paintbrush and paint it onto your stab stamped backgrounds. I think that's really fun. So here's another, um, a whole load of backgrounds I've made with sparkle sprays. That one's actually a uh, glacier paste. Don't know how it got in here. This one's mica mist. Um, that next red one is glitter paste. So ignore that. Um, this background is some red mica mist over some red cardstock. So you can get a tone on tone look um, by using different colors. And here is some pink sparkle spray over some pink cardstock. So you can see it, it gives it more of a frosty finish. You can also mask off areas and then spray on top of it for sort of a color block kind of theme. And this last background is when I've sprayed two sprays together and I did not dry them in between. So they do kind of mix if you don't dry in between. So I hope that gives you some ideas, some tips, some inspiration on the sparkle sprays and the mica mist from Nuvo. Both really fun to play with. They give, both give you a different finish. If you've liked this video, please like it, subscribe, comment, share, tap the bell, 
do all the things. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by today. Have a great day.